Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about British Railway again as there's been a brand new update which seems like it's coming a bit of a tradition on this channel at this point. I don't know what's really going on but the game has been updated from 1.2 the weather update to 1.3 the city update which has added, you guessed it, a city but also some other things so let's stop this faff and bickering and just jump right into the thick of things. Alright, so before we move on, I've encountered a problem. There's no map for this update at the time of recording, so um just give me a minute, alright? Alright, I'm in my high profile software here. So I just need to do a bit of magic uh, here at Fleetwood and it should just do this, do this, do this. And there you go. There's a map for 1.3. Other than fair, but we don't care about fair. No one loves fair. So now that's dealt with, you probably saw in the other bit there is three new stations, which are Thornfield, Union Street, which sounds quite American for a British game at least, might just be me, and Avon Hill. They've also touched up Millbridge and Osage Hill in the process. Quite a lot of hills, I've just noticed that. However, that is not the end, so there are actually three more stations which have materialised. But they're currently only for scenery, but I might as well just list them anyways. And they are West Union Campus and East Thornfield, both sporting lovely NSE branding. And Marden Hill, which looks just a bit more abandoned. Right, so it's called the City Update, yeah. But for me, the real highlight are the trains. And there is a lot to talk about for this one, but let's just get it right off the bat with the brand new concert editor menu, which appears when you try to spawn a train, which in lets you customise your trains by giving you the option to mismatch classes, couple up units with different liveries, extend or shorten trains, etc, etc. It also gives you the info about the acceleration, the amount of carriages you have on a train, and braking, all in the top corner. And this gives given birth to fine creations like the Slevin Car 171 and the Multicoloured 321, just to name my favourites. But as I said, there has been the Class 321 Dusty Bin and the Class 171 Turbo Style have been added, including the family of IETs, which include the Classes 800, 801 and 802. In terms of liveries, the 171 only has Southern livery, which makes that quite easy to cover. The 3 to one has Anglia Red and Blue, XNXEA, am I saying that correctly? Uh, XFCC and FCC, and the IATs have FWR, FNER and Pennines, although these can only be used on Pacific variants which I have no clue which is which, so you have to figure that out one for yourself. This next part might be a bit weird to include, but the sounds of the trains in this update are honestly great. Like, I'm genu being genuine here. Like, the sound production is very, very good in this, and I think it really captures realism. So, I'm just going to give you a few examples if you haven't heard them before. Okay, now it's just some general miscellaneous stuff. The live map has been updated, which now includes colour-coded trains, depending on the, if they are regional or intercity services. You can also click on them on the map to gain more info about them, which it shows like the numbers of the units which are composed in the service, which I think is quite cool. 
and also like where they're going as well obviously and the GUI when driving has also been refreshed a bit and now you have the ability to customize the way it looks to your liking in the settings you kind of jig about the different throttles that move the buttons into corners or however you want it really and there's also a realistic AWS mode which is located in the settings as well and that's basically it there's also been some other minor things such as these on the screen but I don't really think it's that much to include but anyways I hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you very soon bye bye